hi and welcome back to my channel this is not your first time here but if it is your first time here welcome as well i just want to point out that this is my first time using my green screen i don't know how this is going to turn out fingers crossed that this works out well fingers crossed that it doesn't look weird and fingers crossed that you guys like it because i love it i think it's so cool i think it's so neat never did a video with it until today so as you can tell by the title i have not been on social media for two months Dos. Dos is the only other language that I know how to say too. I started June 4th. It is currently August 14th. Two months and counting. I'm going to get on social media beginning of October or the middle of October. I'm not really sure yet, but I'm still going. Yeah, so I just decided on doing it for four months. Right now, it is a social media fast. When I first started, it was a detox. The difference between detox and fasting is a detox is when you're like cleansing your body of all the toxins. You just want to let go of all the things that's holding you down. That's more of a detox. And then fasting is more of a spiritual thing more like you're trying to spiritually get closer to god like you're doing the same thing as a detox but when you're doing a fast you want to read the bible more you want to listen to a sermon you'll pray harder you'll have your one-on-one -on -one with god so fasting is more spiritual a detox is not really spiritual at all it's just more like i gotta cleanse my body i gotta let it go and then a fasting is like i gotta cleanse my body I gotta let it go and I'm gonna pray. <laughs> so that's the difference. So currently it's a fast. In the beginning, it was a detox. The reason why I started my social media detox in the beginning is because I just felt stuck. Not even just stuck. I had to ask myself, Harmony, why do you think it's okay to be sitting on social media for as long as you do? times out of the day you don't just do it like one time you do it like three four five times throughout the day spending all this time each time throughout the day <laughs> okay it made me feel bad when i say making me feel bad i would get on there and i don't feel uplifted i don't feel motivated i don't feel positive all i feel is other people's energy uh-uh on people energy because some people don't got good energy oh uh, uh, and i can feel it like it's i don't know i don't know how to explain it when that changed my attitude and that would change my mood baby you gotta go i had to let social media go because it just made me feel icky and down and also too even though my life is great i love my life of course i'm aiming for different goals making plans to get there i still would find myself comparing myself to the next person life that they post not even like their real life because i don't know what's going on in their real life but from what they post it's like dang did i make the wrong decision but in reality everyone has their own plan that god has planned for them everyone has their own purpose everyone has their own path i cannot follow nor will i follow the next person's path whatever god made for them it's not for me it's for that person i learned that i had to learn too that just because that person is doing something differently than you and it may seem like it's better it's not always better hallelujah was, i had to focus on myself and it was hard to focus on myself when i'm focusing on other people lives that didn't care about me these folks they don't even know i exist even that people that i do know they still don't care you know what i mean like and i'm not saying this like in a bad way it's just the reality the people that do care for me i talk to them we text they have my phone number we have conversations the people that i follow on social media and they follow me they don't care <laughs> Just for example, I haven't been on social media for two months and I promise you, I bet you, not a single soul <laughs> has realized that I've been gone for two months. And if they have, they haven't reached out. You know what I mean? Like, no DM, like, hey girl, you right? Are you okay? I don't see you laughing. I don't see you playing. You all right over there? And that's fine and I'm not upset at it, but that's my whole entire point. Just focus on yourself. Like, don't be so absorbed with other people's lives because these people don't even care. They probably don't know that you left for a few months. They probably don't even know who you are. So why are you so involved into other people's lives you know and it was it was it was sick in my head like for me i felt like that's sick and you're right harmony like why am i wasting my time worried about the next person when i could be using that time i could be using that on myself i could be figuring out what makes me happy what i want to do next things i want to accomplish start actually accomplishing my goals making those steps to get to what i get to basically it was getting very toxic it was like just what people was posting you know you have people that's jealous of other people nasty negative people show this person off you're trying to make this person jealous you're trying to keep up with the joneses and all that stuff that takes a lot of energy and it's like for why it doesn't make any sense that's the part i can't get jiggy with <laughs> so i just choose to remove myself out of the equation and just focus just get back on track and i understand it's who you follow and things like that it was just too much for me like too much for me and like me right now i'm just at peace like i don't be knowing what's going on 
I don't know, the tea. Now, I do get on YouTube a lot, and sometimes, you know, I'll come across a messy channel or whatever, and I would watch it. I don't binge watch those videos. I don't take hours watching those videos. Some people can't do the social media detox. Like maybe that's their job to be on social media. And if that's your job, that's great. You're making money. Baby, I don't make a dollar from social media. <laughs> so it's not gonna take up all my time. Oh no ma'am. And I had to realize that. I had to let it go. I've got to let you go. You gotta let me go. <laughs> I have less anxiety. I don't feel pressured as much. I focus more on myself. I'm not so involved with other people's lives that don't even have anything to do with me. I can hear God clearer and that's very important to me. I'm not blinded to what social media makes me believe I have to be doing, what I have to be buying, how I have to live. I don't care about none of that. I'm at peace. I see life clearly. I see what matters, what doesn't matter because my vision isn't blurred with social media, with pictures and captions and all this stuff that honestly does not matter to me. Mind you too, I also wasn't really a social media kind of girl in the first place. I had my notifications disabled. So if someone DM'd me or left me a comment or liked my picture, I wouldn't see it unless I actually go to my app and see it for myself. And I love that because I felt like I had control over what was going on at that certain time. I didn't want any distractions, so I just never enabled my notifications for any of my social media. And I didn't take pictures, like, I mean, I did take pictures, but that wasn't my thing. Like I wasn't like type like, like, oh, take me pictures. The only time I'll take pictures if like it's my birthday or if it's like a special occasion or it's a group picture, whatever the case may be, that's it. But that was never my focus. That was never my thing. It's like, okay, if I get a picture, I get a picture. But I was just more like living a moment kind of person. I still am. So me doing this detox wasn't hard basically because I barely was on it either way. Like even though I'm saying like I've been on there hours at a time and every single day and things like that, that is very true. But it was easy for me to let it go because I just wasn't as involved involved as most people if that makes sense now if i was making money from it like if social media was my job and i get paid from it i can get that okay you know what i'm saying and it still probably get toxic for those people as well i'm not getting paid a dollar for it so why am i wasting a dollar time <laughs> Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm not feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. Now, the only con, I just can't post my videos on social media. So, I can't promote my videos. So, a lot of people really don't know if I'm posting unless they keep up with my channel. Yeah, so unless you keep coming to my channel, that's the only way you're going to know it. But I can't promote my channel in my videos. And that's literally the only con for me. And then I guess, like, you know, you don't know what's going on. But that's the whole point. Like, I'm just living in my own world with rainbows and lollipops and unicorns. And it's good over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm learning a lot about myself. I'm learning a lot about God. I'm learning about how I can make myself a better person. The biggest compliment that any person can ever give me is that my heart is good. Like, if someone tells me how kind I am or my spirit and my energy and my soul is so positive and uplifting and beautiful that's a compliment you know what i'm saying saying i'm pretty and i'm funny and all this stuff that's nice i appreciate that but the biggest compliment is if someone can tell me that my heart is beautiful you know because everybody doesn't have a beautiful heart that's sad but it's true so i say all this to say me taking the time out to eliminate social media from my life has been life-changing it's a great learning experience soul searching however long you choose to do you should do it and you should go find out more about yourself you should go take the time out to do things that you like figure out what you like what you don't like what you would do what inspires you what you want to do in life journal hobbies that you never did before shows you never watched shows that you're interested in trying new foods whatever it is i just encourage everyone want to take time for themselves and just back away from the phone just live your best life for yourself and that's what i'm doing i had to figure out me i had to figure out what i was doing i was just confused i was just lost in the social media world and baby i could i couldn't get right just dig deep into yourself and figure out your flaws and try to fix those flaws and just be a better you every single day because that's all that matters someone can always take your money your car your house your clothes your purses your shoes everything but no one can take your heart your personality your mind your strength you are you i am me and we will never be on the same path you have your path and your plan that god has made for you and i have mine i have done enough chit chatting and if you did it i really do hope that it's changed you whether it be a little bit or a lot of it <laughs> i hope that it helped you mentally spiritually emotionally physically financially i don't know everything if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And most importantly, don't forget to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. 
subscribe to who to what to my channel thank you guys so much for watching stay safe peace and blessings Thank you.